Amphibious boats are enjoying quite a success at the moment in the UK. They're so versatile, you can just crawl up the beach, especially if you live by the sea. It's a perfect means of getting into and out of the water without having to worry about trailers or even marina berths. You literally just drive it up the beach. One of the smartest of them all has been the iguana. But in some ways, that was also the iguana's problem. Because it looked so smart, it had the feel and vibe of a super yacht tender. Now they've come out with this boat, the Iguana X100. As you can see, it's got proper rib tubes on it, so it looks a little bit rougher and tougher. You've got twin V8 300 horsepower engines on the back, but you've still got that same clever hull with the folding caterpillar tracks that fold up and tuck away neatly when they're at sea and power down and crawl up the beach using the extra grip of those caterpillar tracks to really give you the traction you need even on slippery or steep surfaces. The other big difference is that you've got this really nice versatile layout. You've got a seat up front, a sunbed, you've got a nice sociable area at the back, but above all it's actually cheaper than the original boat. Because they don't have to finish it to quite such a high standard, they haven't got all that expensive fairing and paint job, it's actually more affordable. So this particular boat starts at 220,000 euros plus VAT. Uh, in this actual spec with the hard top and the twin 300s, it's a little bit more, it's more like 300,000. But you get an awful lot of boat for your money. It is a full 10 meter boat. And of course, as we'll soon find out, it's extremely versatile. So this is a seat combined with a sun pad, but also if you want to, you can lift the whole thing up and there's either a massive storage space or you can spec it out as a little separate heads compartment. The real beauty of this boat is of course its amphibious nature and it's beautifully simple to do. So when you come into a beach you pick your spot and because those tracks are so tall you don't have to worry too much about what the engines are doing. So just hit the start button, keep your thumb on the button until they're all the way down. That's now good. Just use the engines to get a little bit closer. About 12 feet now. And then as you come in, Start the tracks going. And quite soon you'll start to feel the tracks touch the sand. Here we go. Pull those back. And then Spin the whole boat round. Just lift the engines up as we go. And just gradually reverse up the beach. And then the beauty is you can just put the ladder down, step ashore onto dry land. Couldn't be easier. What's so impressive about its amphibious capability is that you can just seem to climb up any kind of surface. However steep it is, however slippery, however pebbly, I mean you can see here this is a really pebbly beach, but because of those caterpillar tracks it just grinds away, finds some grip and crawls its way up. And of course you can shift it around so simply because you've got the leverage of those two different tracks. You can swivel it on the spot, back it up, forward. It's really very, very capable. I can't really imagine a situation other than when it gets really steep and then the only danger is that the, the, the back of your engines are going to touch the ground. But we had some pretty extreme angles there and it was absolutely fine. I've got to say, its amphibious capability is seriously impressive. We've just been out and had a pretty good play in the rough stuff off the needles. And I've got to say, it's extremely capable. It's not the deepest of Vs, but if you can keep it nice and flat and level and make sure the V is cutting through the waves, it works very nicely. You've also got the added benefit of these suspension seats. So when you do take a bit of air, you can get a nice little soft landing. And it actually flies remarkably well. It stays nice and true, 
you can feel it getting a little bit of air but the really nice thing is because you haven't got any excess weight you, those tracks are nicely tucked right in the middle of the boat right in the center of gravity you don't get the feeling that you've got a big wheel up front or a couple of wheels out back so it just cruises through very nicely and particularly with these 300 horsepower v8 engines because you've got the two of them and you never feel like you're working the engines terribly hard you've got plenty of power on tap so for example at 4000 rpm we're doing 31 knots burning just over 40 liters an hour for the pair of them it's really very nice and relaxed and you've got plenty more power to come so let's just give you a little demonstration of how quickly this boat accelerates when you use all 600 of those horsepower Iguana may have made the X100 more affordable than the rest of its range, but in so doing, they've also made it a better boat. It just feels a bit more robust, a bit more usable. You haven't got those expensive painted top sides to worry about, you've just got those big tubes. You've also got that more sociable cockpit area, you can put a table in there, you can put a heads compartment in the centre console, and you've got those twin engines that give so much power. To be honest, I don't think you necessarily need those twin 300s probably be fine with a pair of 200s or 250s but you've got all that fantastic versatility you've got the same caterpillar tracks exactly the same system exactly the same hull that copes pretty well out in the sea but it's just a more affordable more usable boat if you're going to buy an iguana i think the x100 is the one to have